there's something cooking on the streets of Invermere. We've uh, converted this uh, 2005 Volkswagen Jetta TDI uh, to run uh, on waste fryer oil. Eric van der Krook, owner of the local A&W, first got the idea from a repairman working at the restaurant. He had plans to convert his vehicle. He never actually followed through with it, but uh, I realized that uh, you know, one of the biggest problems that people have when they do the conversion is the supply of the oil, and uh, I don't have that problem. While the van der Crooks have found maintaining this vehicle to be less of a hassle than they first thought, there are still some things to remember. In the research that I did, it came down to making sure that the oil is really well filtered, uh, making sure that the temperature of the oil as it gets injected into the, into the motor is at the right temperature. But will they really get their money's worth out of the conversion? My wife Liz works in Cranbrook and we just felt that uh, that would be the ideal situation actually to, to make this kind of uh, venture pay off. And around town, Liz van der Krook has been gaining notoriety. People know about it, so they ask me about it like in the grocery store and I've had someone come up and want to see the tank in the back of the car. For mechanic Aaron van der Kemp, the chance to work on the van der Krook's Jetta was an opportunity too good to pass up. When we flicked the switch to waste veggie oil, it was really exciting. It's something that, wow, this thing's running on veggie oil, it's running just as well, less emissions, and it's a fun project. I really enjoyed doing it. So much so that Aaron has plans to build his own veggie oil car, and he shouldn't have any trouble finding fuel. I know he has really good quality oil there at a so I'll definitely be uh, calling it. You know, it's only a small step. I mean, we're only, there's only one vehicle, and, uh, but I mean, that's how it all starts, right? For Go Kootenays in Invermere, I'm James Farnan.